And now I'd like to introduce Devin Sheridan, Vice President and General Manager of Kohu's Interface Solutions business. Thank you, Ian, and hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about our growth opportunities driven by increasing test intensity in each of our core markets. This starts with automotive, where we are well positioned to serve electrification in ADAS and extends to 5G in the data center where our RF technology lowers cost of test. Additionally, we have extended our RF technology to wafer test where our probe cards solve major challenges in high frequency testing. Kohu's Interface Solutions Group delivers innovative technologies to solve complex test challenges with a core strength in power, thermal, and RF applications. Different from our systems businesses, our products are consumables and create a steady stream of recurring revenue that is not based on test capital expenditures, but rather on the customer's need to keep production running 24 by 7. Additionally, lead times for our high-performance interface products are much shorter than systems products, and the ability to ramp production to support customers is essential. We deliver on these requirements by manufacturing the majority of our interface products in our Asia facilities, which also drives lower cost and is a key reason for gross margin increasing by approximately 300 basis points during full year 21 and continued margin increase moving forward as we direct more interface manufacturing into our Asia operations and away from higher cost Europe and US suppliers. We have three primary markets. In automotive, we expect robust and sustained growth driven by two sub-segments, electrification and ADAS. Here our customers need increasing power density and driving high-end computing requirements. In computing and networking, Softness in PCs is being offset by growth in data center and AI. Both data center and AI are driven by the need for high interface speeds and increasing adoption of advanced packaging. Finally, in mobility and consumer, rapid adoption of 5G and its expanding frequencies into millimeter wave are increasing the need for cost efficient solutions at the high end of the performance spectrum. Cost of test increases exponentially with frequency, and to make millimeter wave affordable, our customers are looking for simplified solutions. This has created an opportunity for Kohu to extend its technology into wafer test, growing our serviceable market. Kohu has a strong leadership position in automotive, which is driven by our large install base of handlers and our broad contactor product line. Robust growth is projected in this segment, and there are two key mega trends that align with our strengths and will drive Kohu's growth faster than the market. First is electrification with silicon carbide demanding much higher current load at the interface. To solve this, we have engineered contactors to extend the current carrying capacity beyond today's technology by more than 30%. We are using new materials and designs that lower pin wear and enable extended contactor life, resulting in a 50% lower cost. Second is ADAS driving higher computing power. As an example, NVIDIA is projecting automotive processing requirements to increase 10x by 2030. This translates into processors that generate significant heat during test, negatively affecting yield results. By integrating thermal management features in our contactors that can be controlled by our test handlers, we are able to achieve greater thermal accuracy than today's solutions. Improved thermal accuracy translates into improved yield that has significant value to our customers. In addition to power and thermal, we have a core strength in high frequency RF applications. This positions us well to capture opportunities in both the 5G mobility and data center markets where demand for higher data rates is projecting to continue growing. The trend toward high frequency, smaller devices, and advanced packaging significantly complicates test, leading to higher instrumentation and interface costs. In the case of data center applications, new protocols expand the I.O. bandwidth, making them susceptible to crosstalk that reduces test yield. To address this, we developed a coaxial contactor that improves isolation by 2x existing solutions, ensuring better signal fidelity. Similarly, in 5G millimeter wave, we have developed a cost-effective pin technology 
that performs at frequencies up to 60 gigahertz. The new solution is more scalable and reduces cost by over 50%. Now I'm going to discuss an exciting opportunity to extend our RF technology to wafer testing and significantly expand our addressable market by approximately $300 million. As we discussed earlier, complexity and cost increase exponentially with high frequency. Traditional advanced probe card technologies are limited in their ability to operate at higher frequencies and scale to multi-site testing. They typically can solve one of these challenges, but not both concurrently. Leveraging our RF technology, we have developed a multi-site probe card that delivers at speed performance up to 60 gigahertz that is needed for millimeter wave. We have also simplified the probe card with a unique direct attach construction technique, eliminating a costly component and source of noise in the signal chain to the instrumentation. Kohu's test interface revenue grew approximately 25% year over year in full year 2021. And I'm excited about the opportunities to continue growing at three times the market rate over the next few years. In automotive, we are leveraging the large installed base of Kohu equipment to deliver active thermal contactors controlled by our handlers. In 5G millimeter wave, we are leveraging our contactor and semi-test expertise to develop new products and expand our addressable market. We are uniquely positioned to leverage our equipment expertise to solve our customers' test challenge and deliver a complete solution across all markets that Kohu serves. Equally important, we continue to grow gross margin as we increase our low-cost insourcing at our factory in the Philippines. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce you to Eves Hershey, our Vice President and General Manager for the Inspection and Metrology Business.